What would you do if you ran away from your troublesome, hard past and ended up living with a really rich girl who's like, hey, we're going to Vegas. It's a birthday party. We're having a lingerie party. It's gonna be so fun. The boys aren't invited. But guess what? The boys showed up in masks and their underwear. We're about to Wait, find that's out. That's a really long question. How am I supposed to answer that? Well, we're about to find out. Okay. This party is so lit, Marissa. Oh my goodness. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, look at us. We're just dancing in our undies in Vegas. This is our idea of having a good time. Who turned out the lights? What the hell was that? Did the power just go out? Huh? Hello? Are you kidding me? A five-star hotel and this is what we have to deal with? We are too rich for this. <laughs> it kills me every time. Please, take anything you want, just not my new shoes. Is this a robbery? Take Victoria. You can hold her for ransom. Her dad is so rich. What the heck, Marissa? Dun, dun, dun. What do you... Oh! The man of my dreams. Why is he here? Why is he in the middle of this? It's just us, you airheads. What the heck? I said no boys allowed. Yeah, we're having a blast without you guys, and we don't want you guys to see us in our undies. <laughs> you really thought we were gonna miss this? No way, bro. Come on, babe. Let's just enjoy the rest of the night together. Yeah, we're in our undies too, so everyone will feel comfortable. Let them stay, please. This girl has a mad crush on the guy that I want, AKA Poppy's brother, and I'm not having it. Fine. But if any of you cause any problems, you'll be finding your own way home tomorrow. Let's party, yeah. These people party like this. So we're all mingling and jingling. <laughs> okay, we didn't need the tidy whities We did not need that at this party, but it's fun. Gloom, come here. Oh no, oh no. So her boyfriend, Chad, this idiot here was, <clears throat> this idiot right here in his tidy whities was hitting on me last night and I didn't tell Poppy about it because I felt like she would turn on me. I hope she's not bringing that up. As you know, you shouldn't be talking to Margo. As you can tell, she's not in our social class. So as Poppy rambled on, I suddenly felt a hand on my lower back. Oh, it's Chad, he's touching my back! What a dirtbag, he's doing this right in front of Poppy. His palm is harsh and cold, I hate it. I don't know if I should run away or scream. Poppy can't see. Oh no, he's being really, really upfront in front of her and I don't want Poppy to find out. Even though I'm not doing anything wrong, Poppy's gonna blame me. <laughs> Aren't you a cute little kitten? Ew. What did you just say? He finally removes his hand. Oh, I'm free. Uh, you Poppy, <laughs> you look like a, a, a babe. <laughs> oh my goodness, she is so stupid. She fell for it. I'm talking to now. Hey, party crasher. Every dip, every curve, every inch of her body was sculpted by an angel. I didn't want you to see me like this, you know? I was trying to have fun with the girls and this wasn't for you. She's flawless. She's breathtaking. <coughs> wow, <clears throat> you look great. An unexpected feeling of relief came over my body. For some reason, his approval meant everything to me. Who even am I? I'm changing, I'm a different person now. So, were you surprised? I was more scared than anything. That was not like the masks and everything, super unnecessary. The masks, I mean, they were a nice touch though. That was old Preston's idea. Oh, well, yeah, he totally would. His smile goes away as he licks his lips in the same delicious way he always does. My heartbeat picks up speed and I start to feel faint. I've never wanted someone so bad in my life. I've got it bad for this guy. I can no longer deny the truth. I can no longer deny what I'm feeling for this man. I'm gonna tell him. Hey everyone, come over here. Let's play a game. Oh no. I thought it'd be fun to play truth or dare. Truth or dare? Yeah, what are we like in the seventh grade? <laughs> let's uh, let's play something else. Like strip poker. No dude. Um, are you stupid? We're already in our underwear. Exactly. Ew, Preston. Um, no, let's just play truth or dare. It'll be fun. Fine, I'll find a way to make it interesting. This is really not my thing. I'm way too old for this, guys. I'm gonna head to bed. No, Bensley, please stay. Why won't you stay with us? Don't be a party pooper, Benny. I'm surprised that Poppy wants Benny to stay because Benny is her stepbrother. Let loose, Benny. Have some fun for once. Don't go, bro. It won't be that bad. Come on. Yeah, dude, let loose. Bentley glances over at me. I can see in his eyes that he's looking for reassurance. I'm feeling seductive tonight. I I'm gonna, okay, you know what? I'm bad tonight. Let's just, let's just giggle. Yeah, Benny, let loose. He tilts his head back and smiles slightly. Fine. Let's get it over with. Uh, yay! The rules are simple. You just have to tell the truth or do the dare. No backing out. So, who wants to go first? Hello! Birthday girls should go first. Duh, that's why we're here. We're here for me. Hmm, Preston. Truth or dare? Dare, of course. I ain't no punk. I dare you to strip down and do a little dance. Hey, I thought we weren't playing games like that. Gross, no one wants to see that. Especially not me. He's a creep. That's all you got? Oh no. Oh 
Okay, you know, that's just... All right. Um... Okay, uh, that's enough. Get dressed, Preston. Fine. I'll go next. I bet I can spice things up here. I can ask Bentley who he last, oh, went to bed with? Or I can ask Chad about Poppy as the safe one. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna mess things up. What if it's Chanel? Victoria is bringing this girl named Chanel to this weekend and apparently I'm supposed to be afraid of Chanel. So I'm gonna ask, Bentley, truth or dare? Oh, uh, well, usually I do dare, but uh, truth. Who was the last person you were intimate with? Yeah, Bentley, tell us. Blech! Oh, that's my brother, guys. Uh, wouldn't you like to know? Are you gonna play the game, Bentley, or what? Dude, it's not a big deal, just let him know. All right, fine, my ex-girlfriend, a year ago. I'm not the same guy from six years ago. I don't just randomly hook up with people anymore. If I'm going to be with somebody, I want it to be for real. Oh, how cute. Perfect for me. Oh, you're so sweet, Benny. I hear you, bro. It'd be hard to find someone after Marissa. She's my everything. Why don't you get a room? After? What's that supposed to mean? Um, can we move on to the next question, please? And you guys can go fight in the other room. Margo, truth or dare? Dare, but I'm not doing what he just did. Aw, you're no fun. I have something else in mind, though. I dare you to kiss the most attractive person in the room. <laughs> I got her now. Hope my breath doesn't smell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mince anyone? <gasps> Me! <laughs> what? Gloom is by far the hottest person in the room. She's not wrong, but I'm jealous. Thanks, girl. So nice. Well, I, I was expecting you to get a kiss, but I'm not complaining. The girl on girl thing. Okay, shut up, Preston. Relax and stop being a perv. It was only a kiss on the cheek. Me next. You'll thank me later. Huh? What is this girl plotting? Bentley, truth or dare? Uh, dare, I guess. I dare you to kiss Gloom. Okay, don't panic. Stay calm. Stay oh, freaking calm. Oh my god, Margo! Ah! Poppy's watching! Hey, Angel Face. Oh my goodness, this is really about to happen. I can't breathe. My heart feels like it stopped beating. Am I dying? Bentley takes a piece of misplaced hair from my forehead and puts it gently behind my ear. Oh, thank you, but you're messing my hair up. He inhales sharply and a frown flashes across his face. Is he upset? He starts to lean forward. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I finally get to taste those perfect, soft, delicious lips of his. He moves closer and closer and... Oh. A kiss on the cheek. That's it? A childish, elementary, friendly kiss on the cheek. What are we, eight? Have I completely misinterpreted our entire relationship? Was the flirting just friendly banter? Was the joking just innocent fun? Oh, I'm so stupid, stupid. How could I be so dumb? I should have never believed that Bentley freaking Banks would ever want a girl like me. I feel lightheaded. I feel embarrassed. I feel so hurt. I am mortified. Glam. What, Poppy? Hello? Glam. Yeah, sorry. I, I zoned out. Hey, girl. Are you okay? Um, I think. Glam, truth or da? I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't trust the questions that Poppy's gonna ask for truth, so dare. I dare you to take four shots. No, you've got to be kidding me, I don't drink. I couldn't even do this if I wanted to. I could never take a sip of the foul liquid that turned my parents into monsters. I can't. I mean, I don't want to. Well, you have to, that's the rules. Can you just pick a different dare, please? Stop being a wuss and take the shots. I'm not being a wuss, I just don't want to, okay? Pick a different dare, please. No, everyone else did their dare, so now you have to. Lay off Poppy, she doesn't want to. Let it go, stay out of this weirdo. Oh, you do not want to go there. Hey. It's no big deal, just take the shots, Gloom. This doesn't concern you, Preston. Oh, I get it. You think because you're so sweet and innocent you can get special treatment. Well, guess what? Not with me. Take the shots. I don't get any special treatment, Poppy. I just don't want to. What are you afraid of? Huh? Becoming your parents? Is that it? What? You know what I think, Poppy? Oh my goodness, I'm about to blow. Okay, so reasons why I shouldn't do it. Poppy's a really good friend, and also, she's probably really tipsy right now, and she's probably angry that her brother just kissed me. But every other fiber of my being is like, do it, do it, do it, we have to do it. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. You know what, we're going for the drama. That was super uncalled for. That was out of line. You are the most confusing person I've ever met. I never understand what I mean to you. Am I your friend or your pet? If you had some decency, you know this isn't how you treat someone else. Especially your best friend, which you just called me yesterday. You'd start to realize that I'm always here for you, rather than treating me like a doormat all the time. <gasps> Damn, girl, you totally laid it out. I hate her, but even I have to respect that. Aren't you guys going to back me up? Mm, well, sometimes we feel that way too, Poppy. This is a pretty good lesson for you, hey, Poppy. Whatever! You think I need any of you? Are you okay, Gloom? It's fine. I'm just going to bed now. See ya.
You're the worst. What is wrong with you, Poppy? Oh, bite me, freak. Gloom is a great friend to you, and you see how you treat her. I always knew you were a selfish, spoiled brat, but I didn't realize you were a heartless monster, too. You can't handle anyone else having the spotlight for one second. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm out, too. I'm doing the crab walk. How could Poppy do this to me? She swore that she would never mention my parents to anyone. I thought she was my best friend. I thought she honestly cared for me. I feel so betrayed by her. <laughs> Am I just stupid or have I been blind this whole time? I see now that Poppy doesn't have my best interest at heart and Bentley, oh, I was so wrong about him. A kiss on the cheek? What is this, amateur hour? I thought he may have felt something for me too. I was so wrong about everything. A knock at the door? I can say I'm fine, just give me a minute or I'm not in the mood to talk right now. I'm gonna say I'm fine because I don't want them to know that they hurt my feelings, they suck. I'm fine, just give me a minute. It's me, I need to talk to you. Just leave me alone. I can't do that. My job is to make sure you're safe. You're either gonna open the door and let me in or I'm going to pull this door off its hinges and let myself in. Okay, big bad wolf, your choice. What do you want, Bentley? I don't like how you pretended you were dating me and in front of everybody you're like, oh, kiss on the cheek, <laughs> idiot. His look though is so good and my heartbeat starts to pick up pace again, but I remember to suppress these feelings now. I can't have feelings for someone who doesn't reciprocate them. There's so much I wanna say, so much I need to say, but I can only manage three simple words. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? For your horrible stepsister outing my past to all of her judgmental friends? Or because we've been ferociously flirting for the past few weeks and you could only manage a kiss on the cheek? I start to feel myself getting warm, not the type of warm that comes over my face when Bentley makes me blush so girl I'm mad I've got a heat a strong heat that is making me uncomfortable my chest starts to tighten my palms are becoming clammy ew I feel an explosion is forming deep inside me I'm gonna blow <coughs> Do I need to throw up? No, this is different. This is word vomit. I need to tell Bentley. Not everything, but I need to let him in. Just a little. My words came out fast and powerful. I need to get this out of me. My parents have a drinking problem. That's why I don't drink. They were bad, okay? It got bad, so I ran away. There, I said it. It's finally out of me. That's why I live with Poppy and that's why you're taking care of me. My mind starts to race, trying to connect the dots. My father told me she had bruises and night terrors. Poppy was about to say something along the lines of Gloom being scared of becoming a raging drinker. I'm not a stupid man. They must have hurt her. My body starts to fill with rage. How could anyone hurt this perfect angel that stands before me? I want to go find these poor excuses of parents like hers and hurt them, just like they did to her. But I can't. That would just make things worse. And she doesn't seem ready to open up about that part of her life yet. I won't rush her. I have to calm myself down. There's so much I want to say, but I can only manage those three simple words. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you already said that, thanks though. I mean, I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. You deserve all the love and the happiness in the world. And I'm glad you've opened up to me. I want to be here for you. I would never judge you. I don't care about where you come from or what you've been through. It only makes you more beautiful to me. And Poppy, I don't know what to do with her. Don't listen to anything she says, she's vile. Uh oh, it's happening again. Oh, word vomit. I can't control it. I have to say it. Why didn't you kiss me? Oh, uh, I changed my mind. I don't want to hear him say it. Never mind. it's not a big deal, I don't care. Did you want me to kiss you? It doesn't matter, Bentley, get out of here. Put some pants on, Bentley. Of course it matters. Why? It's not like you feel the same. What are you talking about? You think I didn't want to? If you did, then why didn't you do it? I, I, uh, I wanted our first kiss to be special. Wait, what? I didn't want our first kiss to be because of a stupid dare. You mean you, you've thought about our first kiss? Of course I have! Are you kidding me? It's all I think about! You really must not understand how much strength it takes me to resist you! The time we spent together, I can't get you out of my head. Oh. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. This is all very new to me. I didn't know. Uh oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you're alright. What happened back there? That sucked. And I want you to know that I've got your back no matter what. Margot's been one of the only people here that has had my back. Thank you, Margot. I'm feeling a little bit, a bit better. Honestly, thank you so much for stepping in back there and having my back. You really don't know what that means to me. Oh, love you, Margot. Are you kidding me? We have to stick together, you know? I can't let heartless people like that run the world. I know, it's just sometimes it's hard to trust people when everyone in your life is... I'm here for you, girl. Same with Bentley. We're in your corner, always. We became friends fast. Okay, so Margot isn't a bad person. So my suspicions of her have gone down. I thought she was Chanel at first, but we have yet to meet Chanel. And I'm scared and excited. I just met Margot and she's already a better friend to me than Poppy's been. Well, I guess that's good. We should go back now. Wait, I really need to know that you're okay. Oh, thanks for the hug. I pull him into me and bury my face into his bare chest. I don't smell his usual strong cologne. Instead, I smell something better. <laughs> oh, his natural scent. <laughs> It's strong and sweet at the same time, manly and delicate all at once, driving me insane! Why can't I stay like this forever? He puts his hand on the back of my head and pulls me down harder. Ah! I can hear his heart beating rapidly. He takes a deep breath and releases me. Thank you, Bentley. I'll always be here for you. Oh, okay! 
Okay. Ah, okay, should I tell him how I feel? I'm going, I have to. I have to. Come, are we gonna not? This is our last gems until I scream for more. Uh, Bentley, I wanted to say that I have feelings for you because I do too. Is someone cutting onions? Finally. What do we do now? I've never been in a situation like this before. I wanted our fake relationship to be real. Me too. Well, let's go out there and face everyone together. Ew, Chad, put pants on, I swear! What's everyone looking at? What's going on? What's everyone looking at? Oh my god! Here we go! Who the heck invited her? Hush, you're just mad because her outfit totally upstages yours. Oh, how dare you! Is it? Oh, Chanel! The queen has arrived. Oh! I'm scared! And Bentley is really, really upset to see her. I think this is his ex. Girl, she's so pretty. My future sissy-in-law. It's so nice to see you again. It's been too long. Hi. Love you. Missed you. Gorgeous. You look so stunning, Chanel. I would die for your fashion connections. Well, once you become the world's next biggest model, you won't have to worry. Every designer will be at your feet begging to dress you. Um, this party was invitation only? <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. Marissa, happy birthday, darling. You look, uh, um, nice. Oh! I invited her. I didn't think you'd mind. Well, I do. You should have at least asked. Do you know party etiquette at all? There was an RSVP for a reason. Calm down, Marissa. It's not a big deal. You should be honored that Chanel took the time out of her very busy schedule to be here. Whatever. I'm gonna go find Harvey. I apologize for her rudeness. I'm the nicest person here, by the way. She lashes out when things don't go her way. Well, I'll give her a pass. This is her birthday. Would you be a dear get to be a drink? Of course. So, where is she? She's the one crushing it in the black outfit. It's to die for, TBH, but maybe you can upstage her. I mean, I'm Chanel. That wouldn't be too hard. Oh, wait. I thought you said she was nothing special. Um, she isn't. Darling, you must be blind. She's gorgeous. You're a world-renowned model. She has nothing on you. Yes, but now this will be much harder. You'll be fine. She's some sort of charity case. She doesn't have anything to offer to Bentley. Hmm. Bentley was always into charity. All you have to do is distract Bentley long enough for him to forget about her and then you can go home. Okay, but why exactly are we doing this? What are you getting out of this? Don't tell me you think you stand a chance with my Bentley. Uh-oh, Chanel likes him too still. She's still hung up on him. Um, no, I just don't like that girl. Oh, okay, how's my hair? Time to get my bands. Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm threatened, I'm intimidated. I. I gotta go. What, you can't just leave when your ex walks in here? Okay, well that was weird. I'm gonna say hi to her because I'm nice. Margot, do you know what has everyone so shook? Chanel's here. Duh. Am I supposed to know who that is? Ah, oh, silly little girls these days. Chanel Peters. Still nothing. Uh, hello, I don't know who that is. Girl, do you live under a rock? She's a famous model and- And Bentley's ex. Also, can I add that she's the worst? So that's why he left. I guess they ended on really bad terms. Do you know what happened? Heck yeah, trust me. You wanna know if you wanna stay on Bentley's good side. Well, I'd love to know what happened. It would help me be there for Bentley. Should I find out about- Terry! Terry, no! I need gems. Should I know from these other girls? Oh, what if I never find out? Terry! Okay, Terry's taking the dog out. I have to like continue when he gets back. Terry? Yeah? I need gems. I need gems! That's what you were calling me back for? So you can spend more of my money on fake boys? Yes. No! Let's find out what happened to the fake boy's ex. I need gems. Drama. I need gems! Oh my gosh. Now I have no money for groceries. Are you happy now? <laughs> I've always loved you. Okay, now that I have the gems, I kind of regret wanting to find out without him asking because he didn't Google me. He didn't ask about me. I can't, I can't, I can't stop myself. This is like putting a steak in front of a dog. Give me it, spill it. Well, no one knows the official story. I do. <gasps> she was cheating on him the whole time they were together. Oh no, I was hoping that maybe he left her because he wanted a new life. <laughs> oh no. What if he still hung up on her? A whole three years she was cheating on him. Oh, and this, did you hear about the scam part? Wait, is that true? Absolutely. What scam part? Her and her side guy made this elaborate scheme and they almost scooped a million through some real estate stuff. Almost ruined Bentley financially too. Truly evil of her if you ask me. Uh. If I was him, I'd hate her. It did a real number on him, that's for sure. He's never been in a committed relationship since. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, at first I was afraid that he's probably hung up on her, but she sounds bad. Poor Bentley. I know, it's terrible. I should make sure he's okay. Well, if you're leaving, I'm leaving. We'll talk tomorrow. It is my birthday, but see you ladies tomorrow for brunch. Oh, Bentley, I see a supermodel that came in here, scammed you out of your money and cheated on you a lot. Unlucky. Probably not a good idea to run around Vegas stripping my undies, so. Although, I'm not sure I wouldn't be the first, to be honest. Vegas is pretty crazy. I didn't see Bentley as I was walking around to my room. I'm gonna look for him. I'll go to his hotel room first. I don't know his room number though. I'll have to call someone, either Preston or Marissa. Preston was part of Victoria's plan to get Chanel here in the first place, but he backed out. So I'm gonna see if Preston really has changed as a person. Hey, Gloom, I need to come around your room or mine. No, you gross idiot. I'm looking for Bentley. Do you know his number? Oh, he's right next to me, room 118. Thank you. Oh, Preston. Creepy, but... We love him. 118, this is it. Hey, Bentley! It's me! Are you all right? Bentley! He must not be here. Where'd he go? Hey, beautiful. What can I get you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. But I was wondering if you've seen my friend. He's really tall, bright eyes. Are you Gloom? Yeah, how'd you know? Then you must be looking for the cutie at the end of the bar over there. He's been going on about Gloom for the last 30 minutes. Oh my God, I can't even listen to him. Bentley, what are you doing? Hello, bartender lady, I need a refill, yeah. Make it a triple. Actually, just give me the bottle, would you? Bentley, how much has he had? Half the bottle. Oh my goodness, Bentley. What are you doing, bud? Gloom. Oh my god, it's Gloom. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. What are you doing here? He can barely stand up straight. This whole thing gives me the chills. Come on, Benny, I have to get you to bed. To your bed, that's what I'm hoping. Okay, that's not funny. This is very insensitive given my past. Getting Bentley back to his hotel room was a challenge. He was falling all over the place and I couldn't hold him up. We managed, but it took us 20 minutes. Here, little idiot, go to bed. I'll go get you some water. No! Bentley. Gloom? Bentley, drink water, please. No! Okay, you're disgusting. Here, drink. No, 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 no. He's being a child. Maybe a quick splash will set him straight. Yeah, I think a little hit of water to the old face. Bentley, I'm doing this because I care. What chang uh, <coughs> Oh, okay. All right, you made your point. I'll take the water. He cleans up quick. All of it. Drink all of the water. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, no one's ever taken care of me like this before. Well, I'm used to it. Between my parents and Pavi, I'm a pro. Oh my gosh, I can't believe myself. After you just open up to me about your parents, I go and do this. You must hate me. I'm sorry. This is so unlike me. I'm usually the one I control, but I lost it after I saw her. Please don't hate me. Yeah, it's really insensitive, and yeah, it's weird how even seeing your ex's face makes you do this, but like, I get it. I get it more than you know. I think I love you. Okay, let's not do this right now. Okay. Now you really need to get to bed. <sighs> Bentley, you could have warned me, bud. I'm not sure what you're used to, but I have nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, what's with the quotations? He is an idiot. You can turn around now, I'm changed. Are you sure? Why, do you regret not taking a longer look? Go to bed! I'm not sure if I like him in this state. I don't like him at all. You're really different right now, and I don't know if I like it. Don't worry, this only happens on rare occasions when my ex shows up at Marissa's birthday party. <laughs> Usually I handle myself well. Go to bed. I'll check on you in the morning, okay? Stay with me. What? I want you, but not like that. Well, not like that this second anyway, but I meant I want you next to me over there in the hotel, in the city, in the world. Bentley, I'm leaving. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh. You really think that's gonna work on me? The puppy eyes? Mm. Good night. Idiot. I can't stand him right now. Last night was wild. I don't even know if I can comprehend it all. The boys crashing the party, the ridiculous game of truth or dare, Bentley confessing that he feels something for me too, his ex showing up and sending him into a downward spiral. This is too much. I hate how good things can never just happen all at once. There's always gotta be a terrible thing that changes my opinion of Bentley. I hope he's doing okay though. I should check on him today. I need to get past yesterday and nothing does that better for me than a fresh look. <laughs> I'm kind of becoming Poppy just a little bit, but not in the heart. I look so cute. I'm gonna crush at a brunch. New day, new me. I'm ready to take on anything. And also Chanel is gonna be there, so I might as well put on my short shorts. Let's go find Bentley. Oh, I've been standing here for the past 30 minutes trying to piece together last night. I can hardly remember anything. I can't believe I let myself get like that. Seeing, oh, I can't even say her name. Seeing her brought back so many emotions that I'm not ready to face. I had to forget. I couldn't bear the memories. Oh no. Flashbacks! Bentley! Gloom! No! Oh, it's all coming back in little fragments. Uh, Come on, we're almost there. Holy crap.
crap. She helped me to my room. She helped me to my room! No one's ever taken care of me like this before. Oh my god, I can't believe myself. You must hate me. Oh, why did I, why did I strip down? Bentley, you could have warned me. Stay with me. No. What? No. Oh, frick, man. I'm such an idiot. What is wrong with me? She'll never forgive me for this. I have to find her now. Meanwhile, Bentley, I'm here to check on you. Hmm, the door's unlocked. Bentley, are you okay? You know your door is open, right? I brought you some coffee and we have a... Hello? Hello, dear. You must be the one that Bentley's been so smitten with. Um, I'm not letting this woman think she can walk all over me. Like, she can't just show up and rain on my parade. But at the same time, we're girl code breakers. And she hasn't said anything rude yet. I'm not confronting her. Where's Bentley? He's showering. We had a rough night. We? He called me last night. He said he was lonely and missed me. Do you need him for something, dear? I could get him if you'd like. Oh, no. It's fine. What if he did call her? I, I have to go. Mission one accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> tisk tisk, Benny boy. Oh no, I mean, he was out of his mind. What if he actually called her? Ah, I don't know. What if she snuck in there last night? Oh, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> well, that's enough episode for one day. That was so dramatic. And just to let you guys know, I'm doing two episodes this week just because last week when I posted the last one, all the comments were please do more. So I want to get you guys what you need. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye.